You might remember in a previous episode, we have written this um, OG image function. Uh, if we serve this locally, so um, you can see we had this hello Superbase Edge. We then uh, changed it to hello GitHub Actions. Um, anyway, hello world, whatever. Now, this is great, right? We can generate these images uh, on the fly. But what this means is anytime we run our function, we're actually running the whole uh, image generation pipeline. Now, obviously, if that doesn't change all the time, you know, we probably want to cache this image and actually put it on a CDN. So uh, we don't need to regenerate it all the time. And so this is something we can do with Superbase storage. Hello, Superbase storage. So Superbase storage has um, CDN capabilities uh, built in and we can actually tell them how long it should be cached and things like that. But so let's actually go ahead and make this uh, a little bit more dynamic. So we can uh, look at the example here. Uh, I don't always uh, know as well how um, everything works, but we can actually get, for example, some um, search parameters from the URL. So let's do that. Let's make it a little bit more dynamic. So we want to create the URL and then we want to um, yep, get this um, parameter. So what we're just going to do is we're going to call um, we're going to make a parameter called name uh, and get that from from the URL. And then we can say hello uh, name. There we are. So we have that. And so now if we go back to our method and we put um, a name parameter, uh, my name is Thor. So we'll get hello Thor. If we change that to Superbase, hello Superbase and so on. All right. So we can generate kind of all these different images. But obviously we don't want to generate, you know, if the name doesn't change, like here in the URL, if that stays the same, we want to put that image, that generated image into Superbase storage. Uh, and then, you know, if we already have an image for someone's name, we just serve it from the CDN. So let's do exactly that. So uh, in our project, we can go to storage and we'll need to set up a new bucket. So we can set up a new um, storage bucket and we're just going to call it um, images. We're going to make this a public bucket. So um, the images are just available uh, publicly. Um, you know, these are OG images, so they should be publicly available. So let's create this bucket uh, images here. And then here we just want to put in um, all our images. What we can do is maybe we can create a folder. We'll just call it edgy, uh, edgy images. Uh, and then in here, we want to put all our um, generated images. So for that, we'll need Superbase JS. Uh, Superbase JS is our uh, JavaScript library that we can use to interact with the whole uh, Superbase stack. Uh, and we can look at installing here. Um, we have an example for Dino environments as well. So we can just copy this out. Uh, and we'll need to add um, our create client method here. Uh, and we can see that this um, resolve to 2.1.1. So yeah, I think that's the newest version of the Superbase client. Just make sure that you want to have at least v2. So now what we can do is um, so we'll need to cry uh, the, the client to upload the image. Um, but actually to get the image, we can, um, you know, basically just uh, use a fetch because, you know, remember we had this um, public bucket. So what we're going to say is storage um, URL. So we'll just create a, a constant for that. And let's actually do this. We'll um, save this file. 
uh, we'll save this image to our downloads. And then what we can do is we'll just um, upload that image from our downloads into uh, here. And so we can see uh, here is our um, image and copy URL. I mean, obviously we can construct the uh, storage URL uh, differently as well, but this is um, pretty easy for us because then we have um, the correct um, kind of URL here. And then we'll just need to put um, the username dot PNG uh, at the end. So here we have our um, storage URL. And so what we then want to do is um, basically anytime we uh, get a request, we'll try to get um, the image from storage. And so what we can do is actually we can just say uh, storage response. And we can literally just make uh, a fetch will now um, need to make this an async method in order to use the await. Uh, and we can say fetch um, from the storage URL. So we have the storage, oh, there we are, storage URL. Uh, and then we'll need to put the uh, username so that's the name here. And then we need dot PNG. So that is that. And then we can check uh, if we have the storage response is okay. So we can check that. What we can actually do is we can simply return the storage response because the storage response is uh, here when we await the fetch is actually a response. So we can just use that and we can just return that back. And only in the case that we actually don't have the image um, for this, then we will um, need to uh, generate our image. And so uh, what we can do now is um, let's try just this out at this stage, see if this works. And so now, um, you know, for Superbase, obviously, and we can, we can see this if we go to the network tab, we'll just look at all the requests, we can see here this request. Uh, we can see cache control. So this is actually our generated image response. But now if we change this to download, which we had, um, we can now see that we have actually a couple different response headers. Uh, and specifically, we have um, the cache status here. Uh, currently, it says miss. But so the next time around, we request this, we can see now that the um, cache status is a hit. So now we're actually getting this from our cached uh, CDN. Um, and so this, this is great. Okay, obviously now, you know, this only works for download because we, we uploaded that, that image. So if we change it back to Superbase, um, we don't have uh, any caching yet. So we need to make sure we upload that generated image to um, Superbase in the next step. So let's do that. We have, instead of returning this, we now say const, um, generated image uh, equals new image response. Uh, and then at the end, we can still uh, return that image um, that uh, I guess generated image. Yes, that's it. Uh, and then in between, we actually want to upload to Superbase storage. And so we can actually look at how this works. But first of all, we will need to create our Superbase client. And so we'll here create a Superbase admin client um, because we need uh, the rights to uh, kind of upload to our bucket. So the public bucket just means that uh, you know anyone can, can can see the image, 
but uploading uh, in our case we could put some RLS policies to allow authenticated users to to upload but we'll just use our service role key um, for that and so we'll say create client um, we need our uh, superbase URL and we can uh, go back we can have a quick look at how we've done this here so this is our superbase client and the the great thing is that we have these um, variables exported by default when when we're deployed so let's actually just copy and paste this in here so we'll need our superbase URL and our superbase service role key um, and then what we can do next is we can look at how um, to upload with storage so we can look at storage and then we want to uh, not download but rather we want to upload so what we can do is we can um, copy this and we say we so our avatar file obviously is um, our generated image um, but first of all we'll need the here superbase admin client um, storage and uh, now our folder was uh, our public uh, bucket was called images and then we had um, uh, so we had images uh, edgy images and then the name of um, so we'll just say edgy images and we'll make that um, uh, string literal so edgy images and then we'll just have the name from above and then this here is our generated generated image uh, and from that we just take the body so the generated image body is um, a readable stream or now so in this case um, we know that we've you know generated the image response so we're sure it exists so we can just say the exclamation point to make a typescript happy here um, and then we'll uh, just do that what we can do is um, well let's actually just do uh, a console log of the data and the error give that a save now we cannot test um, this locally because obviously the CDN doesn't exist locally. So what we can do now is we can um, deploy this project. So we can um, deploy this project and we can now look into our uh, dashboard and uh, open up our OG image give that a uh, refresh and now we'll say hello uh, name equals superbase and so now we're generating that image and we're uploading it to storage so now if we look into our um, storage bucket images edgy images we can now see ah we also created one for null where we didn't have it, um, super base. And so now if we um, request this one again, we can see that we're actually serving it from our um, cache. So we have a cache hit. Um, so if we do this now for a name that we have never seen before, um, we can now see that this is um, uh, our cache status is a miss um, in this case. And so now the next time around we're loading this, we now have our cache status hit. So there we have it. This is how we can um, cache our uh, images. We upload them to Superbase storage after we've generated them and then we're caching them. And obviously here we can actually uh, adjust the cache control so we could ramp this up. You know, if we know we never want to generate the images again, we can set this to a lot more by default um, Superbase storage has the the cache control to the max age set to one hour there we have it thanks for tuning in and see you next week